Let me ask you a question. What is contrast? Is it when something is very dark and another thing is very bright? Or is it when something is huge and another thing is tiny? Or maybe when the colors of something is very cold and another thing is very hot colors. However, the way you create contrast, it usually capture your attention. So I decided to combine all these concepts of contrast to tell an epic visual story in this visual. It's gonna be like I walk through with the process of creating this visual with me commenting onto it but if you want the full length tutorial you will find it into the description it is a step-by-step -step tutorial like five hours plus tutorials explaining everything without any skip and you will find also the stock images used the PSD file and the, the brushes I used you will find all these into the link in the description and for now let's start our journey all right guys let's start with the main idea so i wanted to create like a very huge monster that is sucking the soul of this tiny little man sitting into the cliff next to his hut in the jungles okay so i started to look for some references in pinterest about gigantic monsters how they look and as you can see now i find out that most visuals have this low angle perspective you know it's like when a small ant looking to the big huge world okay that was the initial idea and then i looked for some color references and i liked how this teal and orange contrasty look so i decided to put this into our visual let's start with the process I started with this dramatic sky which has a lot of clouds and then I brought this sky from which I will take the sunset and the sun colors using blend F sliders and some tweaks I will blend it into the composition at first I start to put images together that that's what I like that's my preferences I like to put images together at first and then blend them with lighting and all this stuff as usual I do this because this gives me more control into the perspective okay so I brought this image of the mountain and put it far away into our scene and as you can see now I'm trying to put elements like layers and the further layers should have less contrast and should be bright has a lot of atmospheric effect and the closer ones should be very contrasty and very sharp okay that is atmospheric perspective okay so this is the mid-ground section and then i brought this image of the trees and started to mask it using some uh, trees brushes and then i brought another layer uh, in front of what we have and select it with channels trying to refine the edges and put it right here at this time i was thinking about creating like a harmony into the composition okay so i wanted to arouse curiosity to think about the story of this scene so i tried to create this curvature here that is like pointing into the main focal point of the visual which is this huge monster and the mountain everything is pointing toward this little man which will arouse some questions into your mind about uh, what is the explanation of this what is the main story behind this and that is what i try to do all the time in my visuals okay so the composition uh, the arrangement of the elements into the composite is very crucial guys okay we are telling stories here through images so you need to tell a good story and to arouse curiosity to make the brain of your audience work okay so here I'm trying to paint some grass to blend these two uh, objects together and then I went to the main subject which is this monster uh, I wanted to create some sort of weird monster so I found this bear 
and I cut it out and I thought what if we can give him like wings because he's flying so I bring this dragon uh, 3d image and try to put these wings into the bear and of course here the blending needs to be very realistic because I want to sell the idea uh, in a nice way because if it looks fake you will not believe it and the whole story will be ruined okay so now I'm trying to color match everything into this monster and then I bring it into the main composition okay uh, and I'm using all the tools I can here to blend everything for example here I I created like a black and white effect to see if these two images are blending together or not and etc so I'm trying to put some shadows try here I uh, inverted the layer to create like an artistic effect into the eye and then I put the monster here now the composition is about to finish we need to have some elements like this fence and here try to be random because in reality things are not that perfect so I'm trying to break some parts of this fence now it's time to bring our guy and here I chose several images at the beginning but for this man but at finally I found a good picture that has emotions this guy looks like he's running okay so that's why I chose this image okay now it's time to spice everything up with blending so at this time I hide all the groups and layers and start to blend subjects or elements little by little um, for example here I, I'm trying to blend the sky trying to correct the lightness values then the colors I'm putting the initial color grading into the sky because the sky is the main source of light here so we need to give it the lights first and then start to reflect this light into each element into our composition okay so the next element will be the four mountains and for this I started to um, correct the values so I make it less contrasty and then I corrected the colors using color balance At this time the sky looks needs to be less contrasty so I opened up the shadows a little bit and then I think the mountain is now matched okay the next element will be this mid ground section in this section I started to uh, correct the lightness values and the colors and all this stuff and using of course color balance and curves and here we have some tiny little detail which is the perspective or the horizon line color okay because the horizon uh, line which is this line should have some dust effect or some atmosphere effect and the, this effect has different color in each area so for example here it has cyanish color and here it has like grayish orangey color and here it has like a dark cyanish color and of course I tried to like paint some shadows here with the soft rounded brush okay so now the next element will be these trees in these trees I started to increase the contrast and the dark areas and started to make the colors more vivid you know because it's closer to our objects and then the lift uh, object here or the plants should be more much more contrasty than the other elements and the highest contrast will be in this house okay so it's the same process just correcting the values correcting the colors and the saturation and that's it that is what I'm doing in this stage okay so uh, the next element will be this fence and uh, here I corrected the colors using curves I didn't correct it using color balance and doesn't matter 
Here I'm trying to create like an atmospheric effect into the legs of this monster. This gives it more epicness because he is very huge. Next I try to correct its color and its um, lightness values. And now it's time to correct the colors of this man which is pretty straightforward, the same process and uh, that's it. Okay. You know at this time everything looks monotone and doesn't has color so now I started to draw lights into each object here we have two sources of, of light the direct source of light which is the Sun it, it will be orange color and the second source of light will be the ambient color from the sky uh, and the clouds okay and I'm trying to create like a contrast between these colors the ambient color is cyanish bluish tone and the direct color is orangey yellowish tone which is contrasty you know these two colors are complementary colors that's why I'm trying to uh, use them together okay you know our eyes in general tends to go to contrast elements when you see something huge and tiny thing your eye sh has like, you know, an error. There is something here. There is a very big thing and a tiny thing. At the same time, when you have something very dark and another thing very bright, this is contrasty. You should look here. Okay. And also, if you have something uh, saturated and desaturated, your eye will go straight forward to the saturated element. And that is what I'm trying to make here okay so the next thing i'm going to draw lights precisely we have talked about all these steps into our full lens class we didn't skip anything and it should help you okay here i'm trying to paint uh, the lights into the grass and as i'm always saying when you paint in some thing or in some material, you should follow the texture of this surface. For example, if I'm painting uh, into the skin, so I should paint with a textured brush that has some uh, small texture into it. Okay, that, that prevents us from creating flat lighting, you know? All of us, when we started, draw flat lighting. And if you know, if you want to know how to draw light precisely and accurately, I have created a full tutorial explaining this. I will leave it into the description or in the eye above. So here now I'm trying to paint the highlights and this process took a lot of time. But you know, it's satisfying for us. Actually, I don't feel myself when I start painting or drawing highlights. Um, I, I, I don't feel myself, okay? So I, I get lost into the details. And that is what I like about painting highlights. It's something satisfying. And if, if you find it hard, especially at the beginning, you should try to paint some highlights into some simple objects like a sphere or a cube and by time and by practice increase the complexity like adding a sphere to a cube and then adding a cube above everything and by, th by time your skills will be improved and that is what I found helpful for me okay so here I'm trying to put another color into this area of our composite because it looks it, for me it looked um, pretty dull so I wanted to spice it to add to the story and add some epicness so I think about adding another color bright saturated color which I think it works so uh, I tried to put this color into his mouth like he's sucking the soles of this man or the house and um, I draw uh, another parts into the left with the same color to add balance into our composite 
because I don't want you when you when you look at this visual to feel like the visual is not balanced or it tends to uh, like slope I think to one direction so um, that's why I added uh, this color into the left area and of course painting any light you should paint also the reflected light into the surface here I tried to use this splashes brush and finally some light trails to add this like dynamic motion to our composite and adding some glow effects using uh, I prefer using um, screen blending mode and linear dodge these are the two uh, blending modes that I prefer most and here I try to put something bright behind our main focal point our main guy this gives it more contrast and this leads our eyes to this guy and finally putting some clouds around the um, shadows and adding some contrast into the background and I think here is fo some final highlights uh, this add epicness into the visual and finally adding camera raw filter tweaking the color and all this stuff all right guys that was it for today i hope you like it and as mentioned if you want the full length tutorial you will find it in the description and if you want another dopamine shot of amazing visuals like this you will find it into this video peace